Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to avoid shiny object syndrome when you're going to a live event. Now, this comes, this topic comes because over the last couple of days, I've been seeing a lot on my uh, on YouTube, especially on recommended channels, people who attended. Grant Cardone's 10x conference, the recent conference down in Miami, Florida, and they were sharing their experiences. And for a good number of them, one of the big pain points that they talked about, and I found it very, very interesting, is that they said that it was nothing but a pitch fest. So I went in and I, I was thinking more about this. And when you look at events, Okay, when you look at, you know, no matter what event you go to, whether it's a company event or it's an industry-wide event, they're expensive to put on. And so, yes, they do have to be offering things for sale, especially from the stage, to help offset the costs. And not only that, there are speaker fees that have to be paid, especially if you're bringing in some real influential people, because the one thing that the real influential and the most successful people value it's not the money it's their time so when you go to an event and it seems like oh gosh it's nothing but pitch fest pitch fest pitch fest but you have to also understand Grant Cardone all right to his credit they went out um, on his young hustler show Jared Glant his right hand guy a couple weeks before the event, I believe it was like the second week in January, one of the shows that he did was about how to get most out of a live event. And to his, you know, and I'm glad that he brought it up because he said in the video, in that, in that show, he said, there's going to be stuff for sale. They were very open and transparent about it. A lot of places don't do that. But Grant is. He's up front, okay, to his credit. And you also have to understand, too, with Grant, you know, you really have to understand how he's marketing here. Everything he does, he monetizes. So when you're going to an event, it is so important that you set intentions of what you want to get out of the event. And that's what Jared was talking about. He said, you know, you've got to sit down and take inventory where your strengths are. And more importantly, where your weaknesses are. Where do you need to, uh, where do you need to grow your skills so that you can get a result? So when you go to a live event, you know what you're doing when you do that extra pep ahead of time, and you're setting these intentions. There's a little part in your brain called the reticular activating system, okay, and that's what alerts you to certain things that are going on in your environment because whatever you focus on. That's what's going to be brought into your consciousness, okay? So an example of this would be, let's say you just bought a brand new car, okay? You bought a brand new Subaru. So now when you're driving around on the road, you're going to be seeing nothing but Subarus. So when you set an intention saying, let's say you, you were going to go to the event and you were really struggling with closing sales, so when you are at the event, you're going to be really paying close attention to the speakers who are going to be talking about closing sales. And then if there is any additional training or mentoring that you can get that's a pay, that's paid, all right, then that would be the thing you would want to consider investing in. Now, the other thing you have to keep in mind when you're looking at investing in something at a live event is not just you know, buying it because they're going to give, they're going to do all the clever marketing. They're going to have the fear of missing out. And a lot of times from the stage, they're going to be offering special discounts and incentives. But before you pull the trigger, you have to ask yourself the question. You know, you want to use the course. You want to take advantage of that mentorship. But you have to make sure that you're executing as well. Because, you know, otherwise you're going to have expensive electron dust okay, on your mobile device, on your laptop, you know, you have to take what you're learning and you have to take action upon it and apply it. So that is the one thing that is going to help you 
when you're at a live event. Don't sit there and bellyache. This is this is common in when you go to a live event. There is going to be products for sale. People when they go on stage, they're going, you know, think of each speaker like they're doing a little mini webinar where they're going to give you value, okay, with some things to, you know, think about and things to try. But then if you want to go deeper, that's when they're going to make an offer because you're going to get access to their time. Okay, that's something you have to understand. And if you and if you go in with those intentions, that is really going to help you out a lot to really get the maximum benefit from attending a live event. Now, the one thing I would say what they should have done with, uh, with Young Hustlers, what Grant, uh, Grant and Jared should have done, is with that show about how to get most out of the 10X event, they should have done it instead of four weeks out, they should have done it with a week left to go before the conference, and they should have done um, some more videos on it, they should have done some more Facebook Lives on it, um, to really tell people what to expect. And I think that would really help um, as far as people understanding what is going on at events. Because a lot of times when people go to an event, they're really not, really not sitting down and really thinking about what do they want out of it. Because if you know what you want out of it, you're going to leave there with what you need to help you go forward. And it's going to feel like it was time well spent. So there you are, my friends. I hope you got value from this today. If you did, leave a comment and share. And if you're not on my newsletter, I strongly suggest you get on my newsletter. Just go to workwithdrlisathompson.com where I will be sending you messages to your email box on other tips and strategies and resources that help can help you grow a full-time income for your home business while only working part-time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.